Hello and welcome to another Let's Pixel. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit today about about rocks because rocks are super interesting and we all like them. Um, let me go ahead and open a file here that I've been working on and I'll show you kind of what I mean. Let's, uh, where am I going here? Oh yeah, sets, we want oh, pirate town. So I'm in the middle of designing a set for uh, one of the levels in the game. And um, here we have a little, a little rock over here on the edge. It's not finished, I just started it and then I realized, you know what, I should, uh, I should do a little tutorial about this. I might be doing some for the rest of the objects in this set as well, but at the moment we will just focus on Le Rock. So um, I'm using Pixel Edit, by the way. If you don't use this, um, don't worry, the concepts are pretty much uh, universal. But it is a cool app. Um, it's a little indie app which is... Uh, quite popular right now and for a good reason it's quite cool especially when you're pixeling away it's got some great tools um so let's grab a new layer here and uh, I'm not gonna get rid of everything I'm not gonna hide everything I'm just gonna move over over here um, and I'm gonna call this layer rock I would also like to grab the gray color here that I use for the rock of this lovely little colonial style ish building now, the first thing that we want to note here is that the set, for me, is basically a 45 degree angle. So we're not looking straight at the set, we're not looking at it from 90 degrees above, but we're hovering, actually it's not even 45, I'd say we're somewhere around maybe 30 degrees. Anyway, so with that in mind, we want to just trick some perspective into things. And you can see that I've already started doing that with a lot of things in this scene, um, the pirate bugs included. But look at the boxes here for an example. Um, we're sort of looking kind of down on them, but not straight down. And we're, we're looking more to the front of things. And this is mainly just to keep with the aesthetic of the game. The character is quite flat. He's very basic. He's the main character. And um, anyway, let's get, let's, get, let's get into this and not talk about perspective too much. I just want to keep that in mind while we're, while we're working here because it is good to know. Um, B is your pen tool. It says, it says D here, but uh, actually, that's not true. No, that's not true. Maybe you can you can you can do both. I don't know. S is select. D is D is pen, and and B is pen. That's funny. I've always used B. I never really used D. <clears throat> but anyway, B or D. Okay, so let's start by just tracing a silhouette for this object, um, and I want it to kind of come down here a bit, and then go back up. It's going to be quite a big rock. And yeah, that's great. Q around there. Doop. And you can already see that, that that perspective thing I was talking about before is kind of coming into play here. We, we want it sort of sticking out a little bit at us. And then we've got the curves of the rock up here. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that with that same color. And you want F for fill in Pixel Edit. F is the fill tool. Now let's grab a lighter color. I have a few different shades here. It may be hard to tell in the video, but there's a slightly lighter one than our current gray here and I want to be careful here that I'm doing things uh, with this perspective in mind which means of course lighting and shadows as well the lighting in this scene is coming from well generally in this scene it's coming from above kind of above and there's a reason for that because I actually want this scene eventually to be in uh, in the nighttime moonlight and I have just an example of oh that didn't work of how it might look. Let's go to 200 here. I mean, that's a terrible effect. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the 50s night filter and 60s, but uh, that's kind of the, the, the atmosphere I want is that nighttime blue light with the moonlight coming in from above. So that's why things generally have the shadows underneath them in this. And let's keep that going with the rock as well. But not completely. So we're going to imagine that there's a light actually coming in from not straight up from above, because if we did straight from above, then I think, I don't know, it would throw off some of my other, oh, yeah. To be honest, I haven't been very consistent with some of this stuff. So for example, the character here, you can see that there's some light coming from this direction because his hair is lit up over here. Whereas with the pirate bug over here, there's light coming from this way kind of down at an angle. 
Um, and most of the other objects, the light's coming from above. This is because I designed these things at different times. And this is why you kind of need to have the big picture in your mind when you're doing this stuff. I dropped the ball. I apologize. But let's just go with this for now. So let's imagine that we have the light coming kind of from above, but we'll do the same as the pirate, debug pirate. So it's coming from this way. And if that is the case, then we want to have some highlights on the sides that are getting hit by the by the light. I'm just I'm just kind of imagining contours here. So this is the top of the rock. I'm imagining that it slopes down here to the sides. There's another bit here that's going to get a bit of light on. Let's just do that. <clears throat> Over here, there's like a ledge that's going to come around, and that's going to just yeah, go like that. So, yeah, let's add some more stuff over here. Let's be going. Cool, that's nice there. And these maybe can link up, maybe. Let's try. A lot of this is going to be trial and error, as you can imagine. A little bit more here. And let's give this some curviness here, because there's also a little rock here, I imagine, and the light's just going to catch it on the top there. So that's nice. For your audible pleasure today, I have Melody Gardot, and uh, it's a very relaxing album. If you want something tropical and relaxing to listen to while you're working away, I highly recommend it. It's called The Absence, this particular album. It's got kind of an African-y inspired thing going on, which I really dig. Okay, cool. So now we've got, um, I'm just going to add a few more bits here. So now we've kind of got, you can see what's happening here with the lighting, I hope. Um, and it is coming from above and, it, and to, to get some perspective into an object like this it's kind of not that easy but I mean it, it, it's that easy you know it, it just with two colors you can see that things are already starting to take shape here so let's maybe I'll just fix up a bit of this I don't want really that I don't want it to go all the way down there okay and now you know what I kind of did something stupid. I started with maybe the darkest shade. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. So now I'm going to put some shadows in because shadows are obviously what is going to bring more perspective into this. Let's start with this little rock down here. And they basically just come in and fill up the spaces where you imagine the rock ends. So this little front rock here comes over like this and then it connects to the bigger chunk behind it. And in the middle of that little connection, there's a little area where uh, <clears throat> where the light's not going to go, go in so easy, so that's going to be pretty dark. Uh, let's see, where else can we put them? We might do some over here as well. Down here. If you notice, I'm not connecting them up totally because there would be some sort of slope, some sort of gradual change. It's not just going to thump and right down there. I think that looks kind of weird. So I'm going to make this transition. It's going to be kind of gentle. And I'm going to put a couple more shadowy areas in here. And the things are coming down. I love bits like this. Little ridges and, and holes in the rock because now you get to really play with the play with the perspective here. So let's fill that one as well. I'm just going to come down here. Bit rough. Uh, you can switch between colors very easily by pressing X and you can have a secondary and a main color so my main color is this shadow maybe and then the secondary color can be the rock so I can just correct things if I go along or of course you can just press undo which you know kind of helps as well okay what else we got here let's maybe get down here I might put another little ridge in here ooh daring they screamed. Maybe it won't work. Let's have a look. Hmm. I'm not too keen on that. Let's get rid of that. Actually, let's just undo. Boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> cool. I like this little bump over the side here. Also, I'm going to go around the bottom of this rock and just give it an under shadow because obviously it's a it's a big fella it's sitting on the ground and there's going to be a little ridge maybe a lot of points where the 
the light doesn't quite get under. And I'm not going to put it around everything because I feel like it should go into the sand a bit. Like there should be some bits that sort of go straight into the sand without much of a curve underneath them. I don't like this corner. Yet. Actually, I'm going to just flush out this corner a bit more because it's too abrupt, I think. Yeah, better. We're getting there. So from here on, it's just a it's just a case of trial and error, and you'll figure out what looks good, I guess. And just keep imagining where that light is coming from, because from here on out, that's all that matters. It's just we're not really going to add anything to the shape of this. It's all just going to be in the shading. For example, here. But you can see already that we're getting something that has quite a bit of perspective, and we're getting something that has quite a bit of character. You can just it's cool that you can just add your own little surfaces here that didn't exist. For example, this bit here, if I color that the same as the rock, it, you can see how much depth that adds to the object, just that little weird ridgy bit here. So let's, uh, oops. I think we are getting somewhere here. I want to add a little bit more. Let's do what I said before and just add that separator in here because I think it's a bit sudden. This bit's looking a bit too round to me, which I don't like. So I'm just going to add a little, a little bit in here. Maybe that won't work. Don't be afraid to really thump the pixels around. I used to be so afraid that I was going to destroy things and then I was going to ruin my work because I was just... I was too afraid to sort of play with the pixels and make them do what I wanted them to do. But you kind of got to do that in here, in this in this pixely stuff. You got to make them work for you. And you often don't have much space and the tiniest little differences can make... Uh, the tiniest changes can make quite a big difference sometimes. I didn't like what I just did, obviously, so I'm just going back here. Um, this is an interesting face. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I can try the opposite. Maybe I can put like a little bit here that sort of goes around there. Maybe that's not going to work either. I don't know. So do, 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 do. No, that didn't work at all. Okay, that's a tough little face there. Uh, what am I going to do there? Not to worry. Let's move on. Don't have all day. Cool. Mm -hmm. And now, um, okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, I'm pretty happy with where this is right now. So what I'm going to do from here is just add some detailing to this because I want to I want to put some a bit more character into this a little bit more, not too much, because my style in this is not overly detailed. It's quite basic and sometimes a bit messy. So. But rocks need cracks, and cracks make rocks look cool. So let's just put in a couple of little cracks. And you know how cracks look like. This is not, this is not rocket science. This is just a couple of little cracks in here. And what I might even do, I might even go one shade darker and just see how that looks. And just put that in the, in the backs of these shadows here. Because this sometimes gives things a really cool extra bit of depth that they don't... Oops, that's not a crack I'm going to do. I only, I'm only putting this in the cracked bit, so for example here where the... You can imagine that the light kind of hits this edge here. And then in between there's like a... Does that look right? It's not too bad. I'm not really happy with that. I want to put another crack over here because why not? Started out relatively wide, and now we can put this guy in here. It really gives it the the look that there's a there's a real hole in the rock there. I'm a bit rusty with my let's pixeling, so I hope this is easy to follow and is helpful in some way. Let's uh, give that one a bit of an edge too. That's a nice little. Back there. And you can see how this, uh, like I said, the tiny little details can really add stuff to the shape. 
I really like that one there actually. That came out kind of well. Um, and basically that's what we're gonna do there. Oops. In fact, I don't like how far that goes up there. Um, cool, cool beans. I, I'm pretty happy with this to be honest. I don't really. Let's give this a bit more depth down here. So much undoing. Actually, maybe. little bit here. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, okay, well that adds something to that surface, that's just better than nothing. Okay, let's add a couple more cracks and then we're done, I think. And I don't want that to be that dark. Oh, you can also, uh, Quick select colors with option. Yeah, <laughs> late in the video, but still helpful. Let's take this one up a bit. I think like this one's going down too far. Cool. Now I'm I'm not going to bore you to death. I'm going to leave it here. Um, I lied. I'm going to put one more crack in. But um, you can see what I'm going with the uh, with the whole depth and cracks thing. That, that that's fine for me. It's quite a big rock. Um, the last thing I'll do is put a shadow on it because in this particular game everything has the same kind of shadow, and mine is just an opacity of 50. And we're just gonna oh, we're just gonna start from behind the rock and come sort of out here, and then stick close to that surface and uh, stick close to that edge. I mean, I'm gonna go behind here. What I should have done is made a separate layer. I apologize for this tedious annoyance right now. Should have made a separate layer on 100% uh, opacity, drawn the shadow, and then, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Let's just make the whole thing. Oop! Oop! I hope if I zoom in. Make the whole thing that dark color black layer. And now. I'm just gonna copy the whole darn thing and put it on a different layer. And ski doop. Ski doop. Underneath, and now I can just control that like this. Cool, rock shadow. Now of course that needs a little wee bit of finessing, but uh, this is basically a, a pixel rock tutorial. I hope it was educational and fun for the whole family. Or just you, if you're the only one interested in pixel art. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's this Let's Pixel. And thank you so much for watching. And tune in for more stuff. I'm going to cover a few more things in this village as it progresses. I'm right at the start of all this right now. Have a good day.